Hey all, modern methods of moving items up don't work in beta 1.7. I'll demonstrate what I mean. Droppers don't exist. Dispensers can't be placed upwards. They can't even move one item from one dispenser to another dispenser. And as you can see, items don't float either. So all those modern solutions don't work. While I was mining, I noticed that if you had an item in a cavity and you filled it with a block, it would pop up. It seems simple. I decided to apply that effect and see if I could control it with pistons. As you can see, it works pretty well. But along this axis, it doesn't work. It actually pulls the item if you were watching. That's the x-axis. I'm facing three and one. Directions two and zero uh, do work. Applying this uh, concept, I made this spiral uh, block elevator using pistons arranged in a spiral fashion. You might be asking, well, I thought those axes didn't work. They don't, but only when it's starting. This is the first piston and it pushes it along the correct axis. After that, it pushes it all the way to the top. Sometimes it doesn't work, but uh, it works most of the time. So I'm gonna go to the top. You can throw an item down. Let's hope it works. I have that pressure plate because it, I can activate it from the top. And it didn't work. Now, I've noticed that the first time I log on to this world, it doesn't work, but after that it does. So I just recently logged on. Let's try it again and see if it works this time. Also apologies that I didn't sleep. Oh yeah, it worked the second time. So that is super odd. It's just really quirky. I don't really know what causes that to happen. But you might be wondering, well, for farming usages, how do I get the item into it? And there's an item stream. I'll show you from the bottom. Let me place some torches. There. So, you see the sword in there. This piston pushes a block, which pushes that into the chamber and also closes the chamber. It has to be done that way. If there's just an empty hole, if it flows directly in, it'll just get pushed out instead of up. That's what the, that's what the block will try to do first of all things. So, I'm gonna go to the top again and I'll show you that it works. I kind of like the aesthetic at night, but it, you probably can't see it as well as I can, just because of my specs. See, it worked that time too. So, uh, sorry about that darkness. Just for fun, I made an item escalator. This works honestly better because I don't have to arrange it in a way that they uh, fire six in a succession. They all fire at once. This side, then that side, then this side, then that side. This is pretty compact. This is about as compact as I can get it. Different methods like having them just on one axis don't work because the redstone lines start to cut each other off when you try to tile it. Having it in just a corner just makes unnecessary redstone chains that have to loop around. You could do it, but you might end up taking a little bit more room or the same. This is a five by five and it's nice and spread out, so it works out pretty well. It also, you have to account for the space that this piston will take up. So you could call it five by six, but I'm sure you guys can fit that in there. You might want to wire it up a little bit differently too, but basically this piston fires, then after three ticks, this piston fires, and three ticks, this piston fires, and so on and so forth. Now, this one differs because like I said, they all activate at once. Let me put some stone in here. I just have this a simple hopper clock. You don't need a dispenser to put them in here. I just did it for ease. You could have a water stream. So as you can see, it dispenses twice and it pushes them up a little bit at a time. They're all activating, they're all going up. 
because the piston head is technically transparent, it'll just push it into it. And then when it retracts and presses back up, it'll lift it and get pushed into the next one. I guess I should turn it off. Just for fun, I had it uh, fall into this water stream and go in here like a Rube Goldberg machine. You can see that's in there. Now, it gives me some issues when I try to do stacks of items instead of single. See, one fell down. I don't know how to get it to work 100% of the time. There, they're all up now. Ideally, if you had this hooked up to like a cactus farm or something, you would just have this item elevator activating every couple seconds, and you should be good. Even if some fall through, they'll eventually all make it to the top. And look, I actually missed one. Plus, this is just a lot of fun to play with, honestly. If you're wondering what that is, uh, check the subreddit. I posted a video of it. It's just like a really slow people mover. But other than that, uh, this has been Monster. I hope you enjoyed the concept video. If you want a tutorial, I can make one. It's a really simple concept, though. And like I said, not 100% reliable. If you had it activating at an interval, then you would eventually get all items in the queue to come up here. And then that could be a water stream as well or whatever you want, really. So, have a nice day.